Hello, I'm Pastor Philip Kennedy at First Free Will Baptist Church. I'm currently in our entryway here at the church, and I thought I'd bring you our Sunday night message from here tonight. I wanted to once again uh, preach out of John chapter 20, the last two verses. John chapter 20, verses 30 through 31. It says in John chapter 20, verses 30 through 31, And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. You know, John, the author of this book, this gospel, uh, and, and also a disciple of Jesus Christ, walked with Jesus for three years. He knew Jesus. He came to know and to love Jesus really better than most. Uh, John was part of the inner circle, which included, included Peter, James, and John all as part of this inner circle of Jesus. They were the closest of the twelve to Jesus Christ. And John, uh, of the three, was quite possibly the closest of all of them. John came to know and love Jesus. Jesus had changed his life. He had seen Jesus perform miracles and, and healings and cast out demons. He had seen Jesus walk on water and even witnessed the, the wind and the waves obey the sound of Jesus' voice. He had seen Jesus have compassion and care about people. This gospel is a testimony about Jesus Christ. But it's not a full detailed account of Jesus' life. John 20 verse 30 says, And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. And if you look over just one chapter to John chapter 21 verse 25, the last verse of this gospel, it says, And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written, every one, I suppose, that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. It would be impossible to tell all of what Jesus had done. It would be impossible to, to write it all down or even to, to sit here and to try to tell you everything that Jesus did. But John gave his testimony. That's what this gospel is. It's his testimony account of what, who Jesus was. You know, we have a testimony too. We have a testimony about Jesus Christ and what he's done in our lives and what we have done with him in our lives. We too have a testimony. You know, if we were uh, aware of all that God has done and, and is doing in, in our lives, then we could never tell everything that God has done or is doing in our lives. And we could sit down and we could try, but we could never tell everything. One, because we're not fully aware of all that he's done for us comprehensively. And secondly, because time simply would not allow it. But John tells us the purpose of his writing. What was it? In John chapter 20, verse 31, he says, But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life in his name. What was the purpose of his writing this? That you might believe. He didn't tell us everything that Jesus did while here on earth because we don't need to know everything that Jesus did while here on earth. We need to know enough about Jesus so that we can believe in him. John shared 
what we need to know. You know, do you believe that Jesus is who he claimed to be? Now understand, we should try to know all that we can possibly know about Jesus Christ, daily trying to grow closer to him. But the point of John's writing this gospel is, yes, so we can grow close and know him, but so that we could come to know him. Do you believe that Jesus is who he claimed to be? Jesus claimed to be the Christ, the Messiah, the promised one to come. He also claimed to be the Son of God. He taught with authority. He performed miracles, and he never did anything wrong. He was blessed by God the Father in all that he did. He was crucified. He was dead. He was buried and gloriously resurrected from the grave, never to die again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father even now. And one day, one day, he will come again. Do you believe this? That is the gospel message. Do you believe this? Why is it so important that I believe it? The scripture says that ye might have life through his name. It's only by believing in Jesus Christ that we can have eternal life. Whenever we pass from this life, we, our soul continues to live on. And we will either be in the presence of God in heaven, worshiping him, or we will be out of the presence of God in hell suffering for all eternity for the sins that we've committed. It's only by believing in him that we have forgiveness of sins. Jesus Christ paid that penalty. He paid the sacrifice for our sin, and he rose again the third day, defeating death, hell, and the grave. It's through Jesus Christ that we can have this life. Do you believe? I hope so. If you don't, it's, it really is simple. It's simple to believe, maybe not simple always to live for him. But all you have to do is you have to simply believe that Jesus is who he said he is. We confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and we believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. You submit your life to him and, and follow him. There's no magical words. You simply pray from your heart and tell God that you want to be forgiven and that you want to live for him, that you believe in Jesus Christ. You could say a prayer something like this. Father God, forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry for all that I've done wrong. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and him coming back to life. I believe Jesus is your son. Forgive me. I want to live for you. I want to make Jesus Lord of my life. Amen. If we just tell God that, that we want forgiveness, if we just talk to him, the Bible says he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So if you've not believed, I hope that you will believe and that you will say a prayer. But, but what about the rest of us who who do believe already. What does this message have to do with us? I believe that this message is a challenge to us. We need to be challenged by this scripture uh, to give our testimony to others. This gospel is John's testimony so that people might believe in Jesus Christ. God gave us a mission to tell people about Jesus Christ. He wants us to tell them about Jesus. He wants us to share the gospel. But what people need to hear is the gospel of Jesus Christ and what he has done in your life. Are you sharing with others what Jesus has done in your life? How he has changed your life? I challenge you to please use your testimony 
Tell people about what God is doing in your life, what he has done, and what you believe he will do. Share that with somebody this week and, and give your testimony just like John did. God desires to use us to get the gospel out. Let's be obedient servants of his. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.